All right, guys, so doing something a little different tonight. Uh, we're going to have my garage door opener here. Uh, quit working on me the other day, and uh, it's, an, uh, it's a Craftsman uh, Half Horse, uh, the 75th anniversary is the uh, one that I got up there, and I've had that up there for... <sighs> Yeah, it's been here since uh, 2000 and around 2003. It's dated 1102. So uh, had this been a pretty good garage door opener, uh, but this is a screw drive. It's a screw drive opener, guys. And uh, what happened is uh, what I found out. Here's part of the pieces right here. Um, there's like a coupler that cup, couples the uh, couples the uh, the gears together or whatever you want to call it to, for the for the uh, for the screw drive. Goes. Uh, I'll show you here in a minute, but you can see what happened to this one here. Just kind of disintegrated on me. And uh, also, this is the same thing on the lift masters. Actually, this the part that I got for it was a lift master 25C20 uh, screw, I guess what they call it. I don't know, but uh, anyways, that piece broke on me, and uh, that is a pretty good sized garage door. I think that's a uh, I think that's a 16 or an 18 footer. That garage door um, so it's kind of a heavy and that's also an insulated garage door guys so it's uh it's pretty heavy so that's pretty good life out of a, a plastic part there I'm gonna go ahead and measure this just to check it once here guys see what we got here I forget the size of this here uh, garage door so it looks like it's uh yeah, it's a it's an 18 footer there, guys. So it's pretty good size garage door. Uh, kind of heavy, like I said. It's an insulated door, and uh, that's been up there since uh, around 2003, I guess. And uh, this is what I did, guys. Uh, I tried to get that thing apart so I could, I could slide this back I'll show you here what I was trying to do guys is I took the bolts there's two bolts here that go in right here guys I took those uh, took those out now this was before I had uh, put it, put it up on this ladder I got an uh, I think it's an eight foot ladder there to hold this in place because I tried to, uh, when I had it hooked up here, I tried to tilt this back far enough to get that that coupler in between there, guys. And uh, I couldn't do it. I ended up having to take this down. But you can see, guys, if you slide that back like that enough, then you can get that piece on there just like I did right there. Uh, but I could not, I was unable to do it with this uh, mounted up here at the top. Uh, so I ended up having to take these bolts out, the leg bolts. And uh, what I did is just took another, I believe that's an eight foot ladder, to kind of rest that up on there so I could move this, so I could bring this back far enough guys to uh, get that coupler in there. It's basically what it is like a coupler. A couple couples the uh, they got like teeth on the uh, screwdriver and then teeth on your motor on your motor right here. And uh, this coupler basically all it is is a heavy plastic coupler. And uh, so that's how I got that uh, done. And then I'll just put this back up and put the put the lag bolts back in, and uh, then we'll be good to go. So. Thought I'd throw that out there, guys. 
uh, in case you're having some issues with a garage door opener, uh, this one here, like I said, is a Craftsman uh, Half Horse. It's, it was a 75th anniversary one. Uh, bought that one. Uh, bought that one. We put the, this building here up, and uh, like I said, it's been a good one. Uh, there was one other time I had uh, another issue with it. It was something. Uh, it was this piece here uh, quite a few years ago it, it was for the uh, how far the the uh, for the limit switch I guess it's kind of like a limit switch type deal and uh, it had something here it broke I can't remember exactly what it was I don't remember if it was a gear or what it was but it's a limit switch and this thing moves back and then once it contacts here once this slides back when the motor turns in there then it makes contact here with this and you got your wire hooked up here and that tells it when to stop and the same way with the other way it tells it when to how far to go to open it how far to go to close it and uh, this piece here it was down in here I believe uh, I can't remember for sure, but it was, let's see, oh yeah, that, that piece was, I think, that piece was probably in this right here, somewhere mounted in that, because you can see the, the screws there, so yeah, it was inside here, guys, this piece here, uh, the limit switch, uh, messed up on me a few years quite a few years ago and uh put a new one of those in there so uh but that's the first time i've had uh one of these couplers go bad or actually disintegrate on me on this uh what's a pretty good life out of that uh bands it's just plastic thick plastic and uh this thing like i said it's been in here since uh 2003 so uh, it's been a pretty good uh, pretty good garage door opener and uh, like I said that coupler works on a lot of them different uh, screw type uh, you if you got the screw type uh, garage door opener there that's a screw type uh, garage door you can see it there and it's pretty quiet pretty uh, pretty reliable uh, garage door opener actually them screw drives and uh like i said there's your part number on it guys and you can see what it did here it just kind of disintegrated probably after so many years uh, this plastic starts deteriorating a little bit but uh anyways guys i thought i'd throw that out there uh i mean that's uh one way i could do it was to have uh, another I think that's a nine foot either eight foot or nine foot ladder i ain't sure i think it's a i believe it's an eight footer yeah it's an eight eight foot eight foot ladder there guys so i took this eight foot ladder and uh used it to support that until i can get that back up there and uh like I said, I tried to do it with it with it hooked up and just tried to slide that. I, what I tried to do is slide that the power head back enough. I thought maybe if I just tilted it, you know, took them two bolts out up there at the top, the two small bolts, I might be able to tilt it enough to where I could get that piece in there, but I was unsuccessfully able to do that. So then I had to get this ladder and uh, put it up there. So I had a way of... Uh, of holding that up there while I tore it apart while I took it a, took it apart up there at the top and uh, that way I was able to bring this back and then put the coupler in and then slide it back and then I'll put them two bolts in and then I'll put my leg screws back in there and then we'll be good to go and have the garage door uh, opener back up and running there again 
And uh, so I thought I'd throw it out there, guys. Uh, maybe you got a garage door, so uh, you can't quite figure out what's wrong with it. Uh, uh, making a bunch of grinding noise or something. Uh, and it just uh, that one there kind of, uh, what it done, I, the first time I opened it, it kind of made a funny noise, like a grinding noise. And it opened all the way. And then uh, once I went to close it, it just, I heard something go clack, real, made a loud noise, and it busted that piece, and then it just, it wouldn't go anywhere, so I wasn't sure what the problem was, so I got up there and took a look at it, and it happened to be this here uh, coupler, the coupling system broke on it, and, uh, not too expensive a part. I think I paid uh, like 10 bucks for that. Uh, but I did have to order it off the internet. And it took about 4 or 5 days to get here. Because uh, there's... Around my area there's really no place that... Not a whole lot of people work on these garage doors around this area. And uh, I just didn't feel like going around trying to find somebody that works on garage doors. So I just went ahead and ordered it off of eBay there for like 10 bucks and uh, it come in today so I thought I'd throw this video out there. Uh, like I said it works on them LiftMaster, uh, the LiftMaster uh, garage door openers as well as the uh, Craftsman. Probably a lot of different, your, a lot of your different uh, screw type. Uh, the screw type uh, garage door openers uh, probably got that probably use that same uh, that same uh, coupler there it couples that together there guys so so hopefully that maybe helps somebody out out there maybe they're having some issues with the garage door opener I don't know but uh, that's something you want to check if you're that's one thing you want to check on your garage door. If you got one of them screw type, check that coupler out there, guys. Make sure that coupler didn't disintegrate on you. So, like it did on me there. And, uh, so I guess that'll wrap this video up, guys. And, uh, hopefully that'll help somebody out out there. Uh, I try to make these videos for, to help people out on different stuff, different problems that I run into. And once I get it figured out and get it, you know get them fixed and stuff and then I try to put a video out there to help some people out uh, that way you can do the, do this do some of that stuff yourself uh, and uh, you know save you quite a bit of money because you have a garage door uh, repair guy come out they're gonna charge you you know quite a bit of money per hour anymore everything's real expensive right now uh, to get worked on like automobiles or motorcycles uh, just about anything you got to work on if you can do it yourself guys you're going to save yourself a whole lot of whole lot of labor money there uh, having somebody else do it because uh, uh, things have gotten quite quite expensive uh, here in the last couple years so uh, so I guess that's all I got on this video guys and uh, we will catch you guys on the next video and hopefully it'll help somebody out there, guys.